everyone, it's Pete and Duncan here from Rebellion Unplugged, and we're going to be playing through the launch facility map of Sniper Elite, the board game. I will be playing as the Defenders, and Duncan is going to be playing as the Sniper. Yep, uh, I shall be winning the game in as few rounds as possible. Oh dear, I really <laughs> hope not. Um, this is just going to be a playthrough. If you are after the rules of the game, there's a great video from Watch It Played, and you can find a link for that in the description. I've already chosen my uh, loadout cards and I've already drawn my two objectives. Um, Pete's already picked his specialist officers, so we're all good to go for me to take my first turn. Uh, and I'm immediately, having talked big talk, but instantly going to overthink it, which uh, is tradition. All yours. So I've got really nothing to go on mm -hmm. other than knowing that you've come onto the board at one of the arrows around the edge. So I'm going to start off by using Intel with my red squad. So that's both of the actions to see whether you are in the red sector. Nope. No. Right. I will. I'm going to move this guy to here as one of my black actions. I will move this person out to here. And then I'm going to move this officer to here and this soldier out to here just to try and get my people out on the board a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that is my action for that turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am looking forward to immediately being punished for my hubris. <laughs> So none of my people have heard any noise? Nobody heard squat. <sighs> Everything got, is fine, nothing is wrong. Absolutely no idea where you could be, <laughs> other than probably not in red. So I will use Intel in black squad this time. No. Okay, that's deeply frustrating. Um, Because you could have moved into red on that last turn, but I can't just do until every turn because I'll get nowhere. Um, so with two turns in, there's only so far away from one of the entries you could have got. You weren't in red last time, you're not in black this time which might mean that you've just moved between them. It might move, mean that you started here and you've moved into yellow. You could have moved up to yellow from there. I am going to go for Intel in yellow to see if you're there. No. Hmm. <laughs> So I really have nothing to go on at the moment. So instead what I'm going to do is just, like I did previously, try and spread this squad out a bit. So I'll move him here so he's guarding both of those doors. I'll move this guy up to here. And that will be me done. Uh, 
I just need a bit of information. <laughs> if, you, if you want to just give something away, that would yeah, be great. And just, uh, just drop my keys as I'm walking <laughs> past something, yeah. <laughs> Your turn. Again, no one's heard anything. Nobody has heard anything. Where are you, Duncan? Where are you? Sneaking around somewhere. It really could be absolutely <laughs> anywhere. And I don't know whether I... Should I do intel again? Try and just just knowing the sector would make a huge difference. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do Intel Black Sector. Yes. Well, well, well. Now things get interesting. I'm going to move. Oh, all right, so with. So you probably started up in the yellow sector and have moved down that side. I feel like if you're in black sector now, it means that one of your objectives is six, seven, or eight. I'm going to move this officer to here. He's my Jaeger, so yeah. he's the one you probably don't want to be standing right by. And I'm going to move this guy to here. And then I will move this soldier to here. And just because it's the only, uh, he's going to sweep. So he's going to see, Duncan, are you in this space, this space, or this space? I'm in none of those spaces. <sighs> OK. Hmm. That was, uh, it's not immediately obvious, but that was quite a clever one, because uh, usually the sweep, right, it has to cover three different spaces that are of the same type. So basically, if you're inside, it has to be three indoor spaces. If you're outside, it has to be three outdoor spaces. And I wouldn't have to tell Pete which of those spaces I was in, so he'd, he'd have a one in three. But given that he's in the yellow sector and has picked two in black, uh, and he knows I'm in black, if I'd said yes there, he would have had a 50-50 on which space I was in. And one of those spaces would be almost entirely enclosed. So uh, that was a, an interesting choice. It would have been nice if you had been there. It would have been nice <laughs> if I was there. You know what, Pete? You're right. Hmm. All right, are we on seven? Seven, yeah. You've still got plenty of time. Yeah. Just been a huge double bluff. Yeah. I've moved everyone over here and you can just scarper off in a different direction. I'll be very annoyed. Yeah. Um. I'm not 
polite here, Pete. I'm debating killing a man. Don't like the sound of Would be useful information, though. Yeah, it would. It would. I'll just uh, sacrifice one of my okay. soldiers. Uh, I'm going to use one of my cards. Uh, it is not one of the ones that I reveal when I use it, so I'm just going to let you know something has happened. <laughs> okay. And. Uh, and it's all yours. But no one has been killed. No one heard a noise. Nobody heard a noise. So in terms of what that loadout card could be, it could be a mine waiting to blow me up when I try and follow you. Or you've tried to sneak past one of my people silently. If you'd moved into this building here, you would have need to do silent moving past the soldier just outside. So I'm gonna start off by sweeping. Oh no, I need to move him, wouldn't I? I'm gonna move this guy here. Uh -huh and I'm then going to sweep this space, this space, and this space. No. <sighs> but he didn't get blown up, so. But he didn't get blown up. You There's might always mine that. somewhere, but it's not there. Right. Maybe you might you have snuck back in a different direction. I really wish you had shot someone to be yeah. Duncan. That would have given me much more information than this has. Yeah. I don't know if the camera can pick up how incredibly tense I am immediately upon you figuring out I was in black. <laughs> <laughs> right. I still think you did silent movement. I don't think you did. I don't think you placed a mine. So I'm going to move. Because I, I thought you'd maybe run into this building to try and get to objective seven. I guess you might. You could still be in that building, be going for objective six. I still feel like you're in the black sector. But that could be completely wrong. I'm going to move. It's uh, actually oh. down, you need to go there before you can go in. Mm. You, can't, you can't just walk through the walls, Pete. That seems unfair. Not even the Jaeger. Not even Can't the Jaeger. Blast through the wall. Did you sneak into there? I think you might have. I'm going to spot with my Jaeger into that space. No. Right, well, I am going to dismiss this soldier because he's in the radio operator's squad. Okay. Just in case I need to rapidly deploy oh, him somewhere. Good. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to... Uh, 
I'm going to move this guy to there just to block that exit. Because I still think you're somewhere in that building. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so, if hypothetically I uh, was in a space where I could complete an objective. I would have to be making a value judgment on whether there was any benefit to me not revealing yet uh, to see if I could get you to uh, either second guess yourself or overcommit in such a way that I could take advantage of. Hypothetically. Um, so give me a moment. Yeah, I am very aware that I have mm-hmm. sent a lot of people mm-hmm. into that sector. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to use another card. I'm really not happy about it. Actually, I take it back. I take it back. Pretend that didn't happen. I was hopeful for a moment. Two mm. cards. I feel like I've got you rattled, but it might all just be a bluff. Mm. Yours. So no one's heard anything again. You didn't use a card that time. I'm gonna have to shoot you eventually, right? But I'm trying to hold off as long as I can because uh, as soon as I shoot you, I'm telling you something about my position, you know? Even however vague it is, like, I think you have enough information to be able to, like, really narrow me down once I give you anything, so... Yeah, and if you shoot someone around here, I've got enough people there to... Yeah, to punish it, yeah, yeah exactly. Hopefully. kind of want to sweep with that officer again and see if you've snuck into. I'm going to go for it. He's going to do the exact same sweep. He's going to do his space, that space there, and space seven. No. Then I'm going to move my Jaeger into here, mm-hmm. and he is going to sweep his space, this space here, and space six. No. I don't reasonably think I can commit any more people mm-hmm. to that building <laughs> without it just being a... a big mistake. I am going to move this person to here, just on the off chance that you are going for objective eight. And then with yellow squad. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with yellow squad. I feel like getting that that soldier off the board for some sort of elaborate radio operator play was premature, but I'll, I'll start walking the officer 
in that direction. Mm. Just on the off chance that you're there, I'm going to spot into this space with... No. Okay. So for, uh, for context, Pete's, uh, this, this particular officer, has a uh, radio operator ability, and what it means is uh, on his turn he can deploy a soldier that's off the board to any, is it any space on the board? Any adjacent to the officer, so the officer needs to be there. Okay. Oh, so um, is it an officer from, a soldier from any squad? What's the, what's the special? Yeah, from any squad. Yeah, okay. But they have to be off the board. Gotcha. Um, oh, it's the is it the, scout, the scout is the one that yeah. can go anywhere. Oh, good, great. So I've gone for maximum maneuverability, uh, and then I've got the Jaeger for Red Squad, who can shoot you from one space away. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Oh, make a decision, Malloy. Make a decision. Uh, I'm going to take a shot. Okay. I'm going to draw five. I'm going to draw five. Feeling for the, mm. the good tokens. Yeah. <laughs> right, so... Uh, One, two, three, four. Uh, one, one more noise more. token. Five. Uh, and then I get a hit token for successfully taking out a soldier. yours. So you managed to shoot someone who was there. And you could be as far as four spaces away. But knowing you, I'm pretty sure you've tried to deceive me in some way. <laughs> so either you were much closer than that, or this isn't somewhere you're actually trying to get to. And he just wanted to throw me off the trail. So you could be as far as, could have shot from here, here, could have shot from there, but surely you haven't just been standing in the space with that guard. Could have shot from here. I don't think, I mean, you, you could have shot from up here, but I don't think you've... I don't think you've left Black Sector. I don't think you've walked all the way around. I'm going to... Sorry, go on. I was, I'm I was going, going to, to intel some... in Black Sector to see if you're still... No. Mm. For context, uh, when Pete talks about me being... Uh, <laughs> deceptive. Uh, specifically what he's talking about there is uh, it's very possible for me to have had an easier shot. Uh, so if in, let's say I was a space away from him or even in the same space, so I'd always need at least one hit token. Um, but even though the me drawing more increases the likelihood of me like completely revealing myself, if I don't and I draw more, uh, the more hit tokens I get, the less useful the information he has. 
uh, he gets from those hit tokens are, if you know what I mean. Like the fewer hit tokens I get for a successful kill, the more it narrows down where I could be. But that was a risky shot to take. Mm. I feel like you wouldn't have drawn five if you were only a space away. So I'm going to, with my red soldier here, I'm going to sweep the space. Now I'm going to I'm going to move him to there, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to sweep this space, this space, and this space. No. Okay. So you're not there. You're not in black. You shot someone who was there. Have you come all the way around the edge of yellow? Surely not. You could have gone into any of these building spaces. I mean, you could have been even further down in red. I'm going to move that officer up to there. And I'm going to deploy this soldier, which I think is back on to... It's it? a space adjacent to the officer. So I'll, I'll put him down there and see whether you're leading me on a merry little goose chase here. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to... I'm going to leave my suspicion cubes on the board for now. But that's me done. Okay, 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 okay. So I know that you're running out of time, because if this gets all the way down to the bottom and you haven't completed one of your objectives, I win. Which either means <laughs> desperate times are coming up, <laughs> or it means you've got a sneaky plan to... Yeah, or everything's fine. There isn't actually a sniper on the base at all. Yeah. Everyone's A-OK. -okay. I don't think that is the yeah, case. I'm though. actually using the other hidden board, uh, <laughs> scouting my way across a different map. I am going to move this soldier to here and sweep these three spaces. Which three? This one, this one, and this one. No. So I think you might be heading up to two. And you shot this person so that you wouldn't make a noise sneaking through here. So I'm gonna use one of the scouts, officer's ability, so that's for my black squad. I'm going to move this soldier to here. In the hope that if you were in that mm -hmm. building, I have now blocked you. I'm going to move this soldier to here. I kind of like having this person off the board for the radio operator to call in. 
I mean, you, if you're thinking about bringing back anyway, you can only, aside from the radio operators having the additional flexibility, you could only bring him back adjacent to your officer if your officer was in his own sector, so the red guy being where he mm. is limits you in that regard. It might be worth, I'm going to start bringing the Jaeger back into his own sector. So again, it oh, goes yeah. into there, yeah. Just because if you have started making your way up here, having the Jaeger nearby mm -hmm. will be handy. He can't do anything because he's been repositioned by the scout. I don't want to completely move everyone out of Black Sector because I feel like even if it's not where you are now, it's probably where you're headed next. I'm just going to go ahead and do intel in the black sector in case this has all been a double bluff. <laughs> and I really should have done that at the start of the turn. <laughs> um, no. No, I didn't think so, but if you had said yes, I would have just been very sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I have some bad news. Uh, Objective three. I have located the report on the local resistance. <sighs> uh, I'm going to take a noise token while I think of it. And your round tracker goes I will reset. Uh, so shooting that guy was just a cunning ruse. I don't know what you're talking about. My, uh, I particularly enjoyed you immediately, immediately flagging like, oh, I know Duncan's full of it, therefore <laughs> I should not think about this too much, and then thinking, thinking about, about it. it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll move all these suspicion uh, cues out of the way. <laughs> All right, all you. Well, on the upside, I know how you play this game. <laughs> There's no way you moved into that space and completed the objective. Again, unless it's one of your classic double ups. So you'll have run out of that building afterwards. Probably heading into Black Sector, because I'm still convinced that that is where you want to be headed. So if you were there at the start of your turn and you could move three spaces, you know, you couldn't get to there. You could get to there. And no one heard anything. Nobody heard a noise. And you haven't used any cards on that turn. Correct. So I'm just for Dari, yeah, that guy's in there. Could have run up towards here. You could have got back into this building, which that will be where you were hiding when you shot poor hands. Mm -hmm. How much do I think you have an objective in Black Sector? I, I really do think you do. I'm going to move this. Oh, oh Duncan, mm -hmm. what have you done? I'm going to step to here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to sweep this space and this space and the space he's in. Yes. So we can get rid of all of these. So. Mm. That's your two yellow actions just to. Oh, yeah. You know, not to if you're in yeah, that can, space. Can you tell I'm starting to get nervous? <laughs> <laughs> if you're in that space, then I could move forward and shoot you with the Jaeger. 
would you? And you, almost certain you're not in this space because you would have had to run and this guy would have heard a noise. So I'm going to I'm going to move my Jaeger to here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use my special ability to shoot into that space. That's it. <sighs> mm, sorry, this, these are yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't need the suspicion yeah, cubes anymore. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. You didn't need a reminder to drop my health, I see. Good. No, no, I got that. I got that straight away. <laughs> so, I've got you pretty well penned in. And I do have my scout as well. So I'm going to use the scout's ability again to move. I'm going to move this soldier from here because this was clearly just a, mm. a trick. I'm going to put him there. And then I don't really want to move to... I'm just going to move him up to there so that he's blocking that doorway. He can't do anything. I don't really want to do anything with the op officers, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Go from feeling like I had absolutely no idea yeah, where you were. Yeah, yeah. Flips pretty Victory quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. Is in my grasp. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Time on your side, though. Nine turns to get wherever you need to go. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not renowned for my patience, but I should be somewhat more sensible than I would otherwise be, I think, in this context. Take a shot, and it is going to be with the trench gun. Oh dear. <laughs> so, um, the most loaded cards there are two copies of, but there's a trench gun and a tommy gun, um, and there's only one copy of each, uh, partially because using them in conjunction with each other can be a bit uh, either samey or overpowered. So, uh, in this case, I don't actually draw from the bag, I just reveal my position, which doesn't make a huge different no. in this context, uh, and both of these guys go. Uh, so, uh, a fine day for you. Uh, a, a good time had by all. <laughs> right, and I am going to... Uh, continue my turn. Immediately, I feel a lot less positive about <laughs> my chances here. 
so you shot them both, which means you've got the scope to run without me hearing anything. Mostly. Yeah, you couldn't get as far as there without me hearing. So you could have moved to there. Could have moved into here. Could have run one, two, three round to there. And if you are running that way and trying to get around to Objective 8, I'm going to struggle to stop you. Oh, I'm not in a good position anymore. I'll dismiss that soldier. Okay. And I'm going to redeploy him. Can I do that on the same turn? Uh, no, Not on it the has same to be turn. the next turn. Yeah. I feel like I just need to. Just a guess at this point, are you going for six, seven, or eight? I'm gonna run up to here. Cool. With that soldier, I'm going to deploy my Jaeger again. And I'm going to run this soldier to here. And then I will run him to here, take Carl off the board, because you're not... Well, you might still be in the same position, it might be another of your <laughs> fiendish moves. Uh, I'm going to use the deploy action to deploy him to there. Uh -huh. I've got a very bad feeling that you could win. Spent so long in Black Sector, you must have an objective there. The fact that you haven't just won makes me feel like you can't have objective eight. Because I think you could have could have made that. What level of uh, aggression can be punished, if that makes <laughs> sense? Just trying to puzzle out something very briefly in my head. Uh, I think. Yeah. 
Okay. No one heard a noise? Nobody heard a noise. <clears throat> so you were here. I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put Carl back mm-hmm. here. You were there. You shot two people. Then you ran off in this direction. Maybe, or maybe you didn't. But if you had run in that direction, you could have got to here, running at full pelt, and then could have got round one, two, three to there. Do I think that's what you've done? Maybe. I don't think you've got Objective 8, because I think if you had Objective 8, you could have completed it. Would have been risky, but I think you would have you would have gone for it. So I think you're going for either six or seven. I'm gonna move this soldier to here. And I'm gonna sweep this space, this space, and this space. No. This soldier to here. Oh no, because if I. Oh. So I was thinking I could move there and could sweep, but if I move there and sweep, then even if I know you're there, I can't do anything about it. Mm-hmm. So, uh. Yeah, you know, we said we weren't going to go through the rules, but one of the key things is that I can't move into a space that has one of the defenders in it. But there's nothing to stop the defenders moving into my space and me sneaking out behind them. So as soon as Pete comes like a single step too close towards me, uh, I've potentially broken through his dragnet. Going to deploy that soldier there, and with my Officer, I'm gonna sweep this space, this space, and this space. No. And then I'm gonna move this officer to. I think here is probably the place to go. I'm gonna use the radio operator ability. Mm-hmm. to deploy this soldier here. And that doesn't count as one of my actions, does it? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Uh, deploy a soldier from any squad into a space matching adjacent to this officer. The officer may be in any sector. The soldier must have been off the board at the start of this turn. The officer cannot... Oh, the officer can't move. I don't uh, have to... All right, I'm going to move yeah, that's him what there. that's the limitation is. I knew there was a limitation. Keep him off the board. I'm going to... There's no point in spotting on objective six, because if that's your objective, then you'll just complete it. I guess he can sweep, though. He's going to sweep this space, this space, and this space. No. No. I'm just going to get rid of all of these. Back to having my suspicions of where you are, but mm-hmm. no clue mm-hmm. where you actually are. It's mm-hmm. entirely possible that you're just making me pull all of my people into Black Sector again. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. At least you can't have another trench gun, so. <laughs> True, Should yeah. Should be okay yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, ha, 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 ha. 
Um, hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sorry. Uh, right. I'm going to play my last card. Am I going to play my last card? Am I going to play my last card? I'm not going to play my last card, you know? You know what? I'm going to keep no, it. No, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it as a flex. Uh, tell you what I am going to do. I'm gonna get a new one. I'm gonna loot. And draw three cards. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, shuffle these back in. Me. Never seen you loot before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do Intel and in Black Sector. Yes, I am in Black, yeah. Okay, so just move everyone into Black Sector. You must be there. Annoyingly, I can't get there, but. Surely you haven't. Well. Gonna move this guy to here. I have some bad news. He stood on a mine. <gasps> He's been exploded. <laughs> Brilliant. Just what All I was right. hoping. I got a head token. I can't remember if hit token or aim token is the. Uh, Game technical token work, yeah, yeah. Technical. Well, I get a success token. There's not a mine here anymore. <laughs> so I'll get I'm pretty sure you feel like you must have blue today. Equally, I feel like I would be very, very sad if you'd snuck in and looted six. Can my Jaeger shoot through? My Jaeger could shoot from here to here, mm -hmm. couldn't he? Yeah, there's a line of sight, yeah. Well, my Jaeger is going to move to there and he's going to yeah. shoot through the window into space six. No. <sighs> Shut up, boxing. Terrible. Uh... Well, I'm just going to put that there as a reminder to myself. If you were thinking of using an item, maybe you had a rock to try and move this person off that space. So maybe that's your objective. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that mm -hmm to mean, yes, that's my objective. really feel like this can go either way at this point. Uh, uh -huh. Feel like I'm in a good position. Yeah, yeah, frustratingly, I also feel like you're in a good position. <laughs> um, oh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think.
Okay. 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 Um. I am going to take a shot. Another off four. Maybe I should be drawing more, but here we are. One, two, three, four. That's three uh, hit and one recoil. And this chap is going home again. It's had a bad day, this one. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, shot me from um right okay yeah it's uh funny how <laughs> the pace of my turns has uh pretty dramatically changed <laughs> isn't it <laughs> all right you're up so if you'd stayed at objective eight and shot into Objective seven is your first action. And then tried to run in. Oh, no, I would have heard if you'd run in. So you haven't run into the building. I don't think. But you could have sneaked in. If you'd done that as the first part of your action, you could have run to there. And then on this turn, you would have been able to sneak to here. Have you shot the person on objective seven just to trick me? I'm going to deploy this person, he's back, mm -hmm. to exactly where he was, and then I'm going to spot this space here. No. No, okay. So I think there's a chance you're either on the objective, or you're standing just outside, and we're hoping to just dash in and complete it all in one turn. Or, I'm completely wrong, and you're mm. somewhere completely different. I'll bring my yellow officer back on. I'm gonna move him to block the door. Mm. And no, I won't move him there. I'm gonna move this red soldier here. I'm also gonna sweep this spot, this spot, and this spot, just in case you decided to go for a little Rummage around the boxes. Soiree. No. No. Okay. For my final yellow action, I'm just going to move this person in here to massively overcommit on the idea <laughs> that your next objective is in this building, and just hope for the best. Uh. Words of uh, this poor soldier here who's getting uh, hammered all the time. Huh? What was that? <laughs> He's just gonna hear something moving over here and go over to investigate because I have thrown a rock. Mm -hmm. And I am going to reveal my final objective. Space uh, seven. I was you absolutely. You were on the space. You were, no, no, well, I couldn't get there. Uh. It's four moves away. But I was, you were exactly right, I was here. So one, two, and done. Ugh. Devastating. 
So do you know what was interesting? That like for the first time playing the game, I felt like the best tactical, the tactical decision I made that won me the game was during the loadout when I picked the trench gun because I'd drawn seven and three and looking, knowing, because you and I have played against each other a lot and you can read me quite well, uh, like, but you also have a tendency to bunch up, like playing the odds that I could take yeah. advantage of it. And the one that nearly lost me the game was also when I was picking my loadout cards because my instinct was to take a rock and I decided not to because I thought it would be more fun to have more uh, cards that you play face down so I could psych you out a bit. Mm -hmm. So I took a mine and a sound masking, which is the other one that you play face down. When really what I should have done is taken one of those two and a rock. So the rock is the one you got when you looted? The rock is the one I got when I looted, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was my only real out for getting you off that space because I couldn't shoot you and complete the objective on the same turn. And you were so bunched up in that room and I'd already used my trench gun that basically if I was sitting in that room just like shooting you and moving into the space, you almost always would have had the opportunity to, to kind of stroll in and get me again. So I like I got quite lucky in the end. Mm. Uh, well, I feel good that I <laughs> worked out where you are even if I didn't actually yeah, yeah. go and get you. I think your mistake was... Uh, miscounting this, right? So this being one, two, three, four. Uh, and actually, if you clocked that I... The, the other mistake that I made, the mistake that I made, right, was not playing the sound masking to imply to you that I was in this space. Because mm. I could have gotten you to overcommit into this space. Uh, and the mistake that you made was miscounting this. So uh, what you could have done is move this guy in here and deployed into there. And that would have been two people I had to get past to get into oh, there, and that yeah. would have just locked me out completely. Yeah. Good game, though. Didn't gain anything by <laughs> spotting that place. Oh. So, had you been going for that objective to start with, and then went for the three? Did uh, you abort? So I one? I started in red, uh, kind of always intending to go for three, but thinking that starting in in red gave me enough flex, um, and all the you notice know, all the starting positions it's possible to get out of the sector you start in in a single turn so that the intel turn one isn't like mm -hmm. perfectly ruling out some things so i actually ducked into this train carriage and then you became convinced i was gunning for here because i was basically like zigzag yeah. yeah this is sniper elite the board game we think you'll like it we think it'll make you tense you can pre-order it from rebellionunplugged.com or find it in most major retailers this has been rebellion unplugged please if you're watching this on youtube give us a like or a subscribe for more updates about new board games we have coming out if you're watching this elsewhere uh track us down on youtube